I figured it was time to go ahead and start a new moving vlog. I think I'm wearing the same t-shirt that I wore in the last one. Or maybe this is a continuation. I don't really know how I'm going to structure these videos yet. But it's afternoon time. I've basically just been on my computer working for most of the day. But I do have some piles of things that I need to list for sale. And Avery comes here tomorrow. So I just want to get things a bit more organized so we can enjoy our last like week. A little less than a week in New York for a while. Last night I pretty much completely like condensed down my closet. Not necessarily my closet but my clothes. And decided what I need to keep, donate and sell. So I do have some listings to put up. I've just been playing catch up today. I feel like I'm always always playing catch up. I'm always behind on something. Um, I've been feeling pretty good so far. I actually just ordered takeout which is really bad. Um, but I have like some food in my pantry and fridge but really not much. I finished off almost everything. I do have like some rice and chickpeas and lentils but those just take kind of a long time to make. <laughs> But I should meal prep some so that we can have those as snacks. I think I just had like frozen vegetables, the stuff I just mentioned, and tofu left. And some oatmeal. You probably don't even care. I've been thinking of wanting to film, like, not necessarily what I eat in a day, but something sort of along those lines soon. Because I watch those videos all the time to get new, like food ideas and recipes for a plant-based diet. I think I'm also going to do a blog post with my favorite plant-based restaurants in New York City because I found so many good ones recently. And if you're traveling here or if you live here and want some ideas, I have some recommendations for you. I need to continue doing some editing. Video and YouTube and blogging stuff has kind of been my priority today. It usually gets pushed kind of to the back burner with my other business but I wanted to focus on this stuff today. Finding a balance is always kind of difficult um, but no one's life can ever be 100% balanced. <sighs> here I am still in the same spot. I thought I would come on here and ask though because I have been asking a bunch of people lately and I haven't really had that much luck. Um, saying a bunch of people is a bit of a stretch, but it has just been something I've been trying to accomplish lately. If anybody watching this has a contact at Instagram, I would love to have it. <laughs> um, I would love to be introduced in some way. Avery and I have wanted our actual brand name, which we have a trademark for, as our Instagram username for, like, since the beginning. And it's not our brand name right now. And the username we want, it's not even like a profile. Whenever you search the link, there's no profile that comes up. However, when you try to change your name to that or create a profile with our brand name, it says it's unavailable. And I thought that I learned that you could fill out a form if you have a trademark and basically like get it all sorted pretty easily, but... That's not the case when the account isn't active. If anyone has a contact, I hope that I can do something in exchange for you. But it would be much, much appreciated. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We've been packing orders all morning and we are officially completely caught up. Caught up. Everyone's getting their things. Stats. Yes. Now we have to check to the post office with everything, <laughs> but it should be good. And that's the package. Yay. Oh, also Avery and I got tattoos last night. I didn't vlog it. This, these are my moving vlogs. Oh, your moving vlogs? Okay. But I like that idea. Put those all together. I can't really see it. So you're just using that exposed. camera for your moving vlogs? Nice. What have you done so far? Like through my closet, I thought what I'm keeping. Oh wait, the stuff you're keeping. Yes, there's much to do. I but have until Monday, it's Friday right now. Yeah, we have a solid three more days, I would say. 
yeah. finish up. But yeah, I haven't even thought about all the stuff we need to ship somewhere else that we can't take on a plane. Yeah. But Happy. it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it'll be fine. This was good to get out of the way. Yeah, I get just got thing. someone from Priceless that's supposed to come pick up my table today, but they haven't been responding. <laughs> so, I don't know how that's going to go. Can you get in? No, I need your help. Coming. Whoa! Hey! Oh! <laughs> Made it. So, it is one day before we have to be out of here. Someone actually just came and picked up one of our racks. So, we've yes. sold both of them now, which is nice. Um, I just ended up posting some things on Instagram because multiple people have bailed on me on Craigslist over things. <laughs> um, oh, mainly over this table, but also over this shelf. Oh well. Selling my chair on Craigslist was really easy, but I feel like we've made some progress. Kind of. One, two, zero, three. So please have a pen and paper ready to write it down. Let's begin. Pen and, paper. and are you closing this account permanently? Yes. The earliest we can close your account is tomorrow. Email. I didn't get that. <sighs> please say new address or current goodbye or press three. Thank you for calling Con Edison. Goodbye. That was easier than I expected it to be. Time Warner Cable might be different. I don't understand why they have to send a physical bill somewhere. I'm canceling all of the services that I need to. And after two years of logging into this account to pay my internet bill, I still can never remember <laughs> the username. So far today we've had three people come and pick things up. Just from Instagram. I should have done that the whole time. My battery is flashing. Welcome to Spectrum. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. But I not You guys, I kid you not, this happens on the last day in the apartment. Like, I don't even want to show you, but when you flush the toilet, our sinks fill up with I don't know what. It's disgusting. And... I hope my security deposit isn't going to be held because of this. But I'm just glad that I'm moving out. Still wearing the same t-shirt. It is the day that we have to leave. Yes. Avery's cleaning off this clothing rack before someone comes to pick it up. And we pretty much just have a ton of boxes on the ground and in my room. But someone's picking up my mattress and my rack and my mirror and these stools and my printer and then someone's coming to get this later today. And at least hopefully they are because <laughs> like five people now have said they're coming to get it and then don't show up. So we'll see. Avery and I will have to do a little story time about this move out day when we are in a better because I know it's really not going well. It's late, but I don't even want to get into it. And there's still so much to do. He just left to go pick something up. So, horrible, you guys, horrible. Hi, you guys. So, I was editing this moving vlog, and at the end, I said that Avery and I would come on and tell you about our last day of moving out when we were in a better state. It's actually been over a week since we moved out of my apartment now. Move out day was definitely just a mess. <laughs> um, we ended up shipping a bunch of boxes, mainly just inventory 
I condensed the majority of my belongings down to two suitcases, which is really liberating. I need to do a video on my main channel still that just goes through like all the clothes that I kept. Although lately I have been, oh, oh, I can't see you. There he is. He's making us some falafel for lunch. Should be good. Um, I was saying lately I've been feeling like I'm still not that happy with my wardrobe, but trying to hold off on shopping a bit before we travel because I know when we're in places like Belgium and as I've heard from Avery Austria, we can find some good secondhand deals from some of our favorite brands. Uh, anyways, back to moving out. So on our move out day, we were going strong. We got rid of like all my furniture pretty much, except for that table. No one ever came to pick it up, but somebody was moving into my building at the same time we were moving out and they took it off of me for free, obviously. But that was nice. I'm glad I got to go to a... <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm glad I got to go to a different home. But anyways, we were moving out. Things were going smoothly. And then we went on one last UPS run and we lost my keys. Don't know if it was Avery or I that lost the keys. So we're trying to backtrack our steps for a while. It was getting dark. And obviously it was nighttime and we had to be out of the apartment soon. Couldn't get the keys. So... Uh, we ended up getting into the building. We were like asking people that lived directly above me if we could like go on their fire escape and get into my apartment because we knew the window was unlocked. Uh, they said no. <laughs> um, it was like an older lady and I'd never seen her before. So like, why would she let us in her apartment, you know? Um, so then I called a locksmith. It was like $100 to unlock the door and I didn't want to do that. So we eventually just contacted the super. And then he showed up, he told us that we were, he had never had tenants like us before, <laughs> or something like that. He was mad at us. And, I don't know, I had texted him, like, the day before, because as you guys saw my sink, when you were flushing the toilet, it started filling up, and it was disgusting. I've never seen anything like that before. Um, but that was just, like, one issue with the apartment, but he never fixed, like, a million things, so I don't know why he's so mad at us. I don't think we're awful tenants. He thinks Avery lived there yeah, anyways, so, like, he just doesn't even know what's up. <laughs> yeah. He said they were, like, gonna hold my security deposit, although they called me the other day and, like, asked for a forwarding address for it, so I think things are okay. <laughs> But we ended up being able to get into the apartment. I think we left at like midnight on the dot. And that's about it. We went to our friend Morgan and Rise and we stayed there for a couple extra days. They live downtown and it was just nice being downtown, not needing to take the subway anywhere. But since then we've been back at Avery's family home. We moved him out. Of his apartment we've just been doing lots of moving which I think it's kind of cleansing getting rid of lots of stuff and we booked our trips so we're starting out in Iceland and Copenhagen which wasn't necessarily the original plan I think originally we were planning on going somewhere that we've never been before but we got a super cheap flight through Wow Air. It was like $180 from St. Louis, so from the Midwest, which I thought we were going to have to spend like $700 on a Europe flight, but we got one for $180. And we have a long layover in Iceland. We're staying on a horse ranch just for a day. And then we're going to Copenhagen for a little while and then Berlin, which I've been wanting to go to Berlin for a while and we've never been so super excited about that and then we're just gonna be floating around but I am still getting a lot of questions on like the where are you moving where are you putting your stuff but all my stuff is pretty much in my suitcases so I didn't put anything in storage I didn't really want to do that and we're just gonna be popping around Airbnbs, which is still a cheaper alternative than living in New York. 
and all of the flights that we've gotten so far are really cheap. A lot of the budget airlines do great deals. We can do a video sometime or mention on here kind of about how we do travel kind of on a budget, I guess. I feel like I have never spent more than like $400 round trip on a Europe flight and we always stay in Airbnbs which are always under $100 a night. Um, usually a lot cheaper. But if you guys want a $40 credit on Airbnb, I'll have a link below where you can get that and then we get some money off too. So that's kind of the credit that we're living off of in Europe for a little while because you guys have helped us do that, which thank you so much if you've ever used one of our credits. And I hope you got to go somewhere cool with our credit that we exchanged with you as well. Um, but that's our little update for now. I would love to hear any of your favorite places that you've been in Europe probably because that's where we're going to be hanging out for a while. We can be there 90 days and then we have to get out. Um, and also if you guys have any recommendations for phone usage for a long term period abroad if you're going to be in different countries I would love to hear about that too because we've been doing some research on that lately and still things are just a bit up in the air. I know my phone's still locked. Avery's is unlocked. Yeah, still rambling. I should probably let you guys go, but if you have any tips for us, we'd love to hear, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!